Yeah, good morning, frogs. Yeah, it's actually morning, but uh, yeah, uh, some of parts of the video I uh, made yesterday, so don't wonder why it's uh, night in some uh, parts of the video. Yeah, anyway, uh, today I want to show you uh, some fun with spectrum analyzer and SDR and how to use your intermediate frequency output of the spectrum analyzer to fed it into an SDR and have some fun. This is uh, just an old-fashioned spectrum analyzer from Anritsu. It goes from 9 kHz to 2.2 GHz. These units aren't that expensive, you might uh, expect, because these units are old and, yeah, as you might know, modern spectrum analyzers go way more than 2.2 GHz. They go to 3 or even 30 GHz. Yeah, this one is an old one and yeah what you can see here is the, the spectrum oh, let's give it a bit more reference level so you can see a beautiful spectrum okay what we can see, see here is uh, now let's go with some marker to it to see what it is yes yeah, I think it's a uh, local radio broadcast band this is uh, the first GSM band here in Germany we have GSM 900 so we have 942 megahertz here yeah, this is uh, seems to be correct and this is 1.8 this is the uh, DCS uh, GSM band yeah anyway my basic interest in this case is uh, in the local radio broadcast band because uh, yeah they're good for testing it's just FM uh, easy to demodulate and easy to test okay let's set uh, a center frequency of 88.8 uh, .8, my favorite test frequency okay now it's in the center marker this, by the way, is a uh, DC offset of the uh, mixer. Okay, here it should be. Yeah, I think this is the radio station. Then I set the span to, let's say, 1 megahertz to see it better. Yeah. Here we have our radio station. Um, the spectrum analyzer has a demodulator built in. This is what it gives on the FM output. Um, to actually demodulate it directly, the spectrum analyzer, we have to uh, set the span frequency to the lowest possible point to, uh, yeah to make it sweep only over the uh, frequency of interest and what we do next is um, put up the resolution bandwidth so I'm not happy with this band it should be oh it was from direction sorry yeah now go down 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 Yeah, start to hear something. So now it only sweeps with one megahertz resolution bandwidth above a range of one kilohertz. What we now do is uh, we force the spectrum analyzer to do no more sweeping. We set the trigger to external. It's triggered on external so that means that the unit doesn't trigger it doesn't sweep it's just standing solid on uh, the 88.8 .8 megahertz frequency and that's intentional because i don't want the unit to sweep because then it would always change the frequency and i uh, want to have the mi mixer inside the unit to be supplied with a constant frequency so that my output frequency is also constant uh, 
Ja, hier, diese Antenne. Das ist nice. Das sind 8. Point, jetzt sagen wir about 800, 800 MHz for the uh, short range devices, uh, things. Yeah, here I have a um, 20 dB attenuator. Um, I just want to be careful because I don't want to ruin my SDR with too, um, with a too high uh, output. I think these 3.6 frequencies are coming out very strong. I've monitored it on the oscilloscope. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the output after uh, the attenuator. attenuator. And yeah, as you can see, it's about uh, 100 millivolt peak to peak. Uh, so it should be okay for the Persis SDR. Okay, the cable coming out is running just over to my desk. And here it is. This is the output from spectrum analyzer on Studio One. From uh, received by the Persis SDR. It's running fine, no uh, the indicator, the overloading indicator LED is not lit, so yeah, actually a very fine device. This unit is meant to be uh, hmm, go up to 30 megahertz, 0 to 30 megahertz. And now, by having spectrum analyzer in between, I abuse the unit to do uh, much, much more. I can tune the spectrum analyzer to almost any frequency from basically 0 to uh, 2.2 gigahertz. In this case, it's 88.8 .8 megahertz. And yeah, this is what we got. This is exactly the radio station uh, I've tuned to. Uh, we have uh, another weaker radio station. I guess it's weaker because it's coming on the outer range of the uh, STR. Here's the radio frequency. I can show you. But anyway, I'm really satisfied uh, with this and I can show you something. I will just uh, leave you here. Oh, this desk is horrible, horribly untidy. Uh, I should get a tripod or something. I mean, unfortunately, the only tripod I have is a very shitty one. Okay, here we go. I will now turn uh, the center frequency dial on uh, the spectrum analyzer and you can observe in the meanwhile what, uh, what's the effect on the spectrum display here. So, see it? It's moving. Maybe we can get this other radio station a bit stronger. So I move it more to the center. Okay, yeah. That's the way I can tune it a bit. Uh, we also could try to set it to 4 megahertz. Uh, not 400 kilohertz, 4 megahertz. And here you see other stations. Surprise, surprise. The mixer, the output of the spectrum analyzer mixer is quite wide band. I'm really, really happy to see this. Oh, we also can get our nice uh, teammate stuff here. More, yeah, let's see how we how far we can go. Yeah. Here the level is decreasing. I think we reached uh, the end of the 
spectrum at 6.2 megahertz basically yeah 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 it's over these edges are actually uh, the bandwidth of the uh, str itself so uh, the window we see is from here to here basically uh, let's tune it a bit more down 3.6 point, 3 this is actually should be the middle 3.6 uh, let's see how it tunes uh, it's better to have this marker in the middle because uh, the frequency you see in the right upper corner is uh, is the frequency where the marker is set to and here yeah it's basically over let's tune it a bit more down oh what's this uh, i think i think this is intrin intrinsic thing of the sti yeah, yeah, yeah i can unplug the plug and it doesn't uh, vanish so this is here is basically uh, yeah the DC component of the receiver DC component of the free transformation DC offset of the uh, yeah a digital analog converter yeah you name it okay there's always something left to mention um, yeah we have um, on my spectrum analyzer, it's the case that um, the intermediate frequency output on the back side is um, the output after the resolution filter. And uh, I have set the bandwidth to uh, manual uh, and it's set to uh, 1 megahertz resolution bandwidth. This is actually uh, the uh, biggest bandwidth this spectrum analyzer is capable to do uh, one megahertz resolution and this basically should be exactly what we get on the intermediate frequency output uh, resolution uh, uh, a bandwidth of one megahertz should be observed yeah. here by the way the oscilloscope is showing uh, the waveform coming out on the intermediate frequency output and yeah let's see um, let's take another look uh, what it looks like uh, on the Persos SDR okay here we have the output uh, on the Persos SDR and yeah it's currently demodulating a local radio station this is the output of the demodulator by the way Let's bring this into the foreground. So, okay. Um, the SDR is set to uh, so the SDR is set to uh, two mega samples. That gives basically a bandwidth of one megahertz here in the window and when I move the spectrum a bit you can see here it's uh, it reaches the end of the uh, intermediate frequency bandwidth you can see that on uh, here it gets lower the output uh, strength is uh, coming down and we can bring this hill actually in the middle of this of this window and what we can see is that it's uh, very close to to one megahertz so uh, this is actually true we we see exactly the uh, resolution bandwidth of the spectrum analyzer here so now I show you uh, let's put this in the middle some more yeah Three point. I think it's the best. We do this here. Put this in the middle, and then we tune to three point 
6 megahertz, which is the middle of the uh, intermediate frequency output of the spectrum analyzer. So now um, I will uh, set the spectrum analyzer to different uh, intermediate frequency output uh, bandwidths and we will see what uh, it looks like uh, on the spectrum display here. Okay, this is for 1 megahertz. This is for 300 kilohertz. 100 kilohertz. 30 kilohertz. 10 kilohertz. 3 kilohertz. 1 kilohertz. 300 hertz. Okay, I think we can stop here. Yeah, this is down to 30 hertz. This is the uh, lowest resolution one the spectrum analyzer can do. Okay, let's set it back to 1 megahertz to get the maximum output again. Yeah, here by this you can clearly see that uh, the intermediate frequency output is right after the resolution bandwidth filter of the spectrum analyzer and yeah if I set it to the local radio station again see stereo is working but RDS I think it's not working oh it's working oh wow yesterday it made some problems but yeah here yeah. radio Berlin 8088 Okay, we are through now with this uh, demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it, even if the camera work is not uh, that professional. Uh, but anyway, I hope I could give you some idea and some inspiration for your future experiments. Maybe sometime you have access to a spectrum analyzer and then you can try it. Don't forget the attenuator because you don't want uh, to overload your SDR input. And yeah, it should be fine then. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so uh, take care, goodbye, and yeah, see you again in the next video. <laughs>